Alright, hi everybody. This is Ross from Church Windows. Um, according to my watch here, it is noon, so we will get started on our webinar today about um, subtotal setup and use within donations. Um, now, if any of you are familiar with accounting um, and the subtotal screen on that, it's essentially the same thing, the only difference being um, in donations. Uh, you have you use donations accounts instead of assets and income, et cetera, et cetera, in accounting. So to find the subtotal screen within donations, after you open up donations, up here in the top left corner, if you click on accounts and pledges, and then you get this row right underneath that that starts with manage accounts. On the far right side, um, the last option is subtotals. You click on that and it'll open up your subtotal screen. Um, by default, the um, the subtotal screen it has the um, it has this um, basically this overall subtotal called total giving accounts that contains all the other accounts and subtotals that are within donations. So you can click the little plus sign here and we already have a little bit of a subtotal some subtotals set up so like total annual giving, holiday giving, memorial giving, things like that. If you want to see what accounts are set up within a subtotal you have to click down here at show accounts and this is what also allows you to see and this is what allows you to see what subtotals or what accounts are within each subtotal so you, if you want to see all the ones that are in total annual giving you click on that plus sign and it shows you all the different accounts that are in there now if um, you know if you don't have any uh, other subtotals set up if you and you want to add a new one within uh, this screen, you can do that by clicking on this plus add new subtotal here at the bottom left. If you click on that, it will by default throw it down to the bottom, and then you can give it a name um, depending on how you want to organize your data. You know, we already have annual giving and holiday giving things like that set up. Um, let's just do total test giving. I'll just name it test for now. And then see as I want to move off of that, I want to click on another line. It now has the name total test giving. Now if you want to move an account to a new subtotal that you've created, you have there's two different ways of doing that. One, you can click on a particular account that exists in another subtotal and then drag it down to your new one. You see it's highlighted and it's dragging it down and when I let go after putting my mouse cursor above total test giving it puts it in it puts that account underneath so it is now part of that subtotal. The other way you can move an account is by clicking on it so it's highlighted like, like I'm clicking on facilities rental here at the top then I can over here on the right there's this move account name too so in this case it says move facility rentals too um, and then this drop down has all the different subtotals that exist um, in your database so in this case I'll go down and click total test giving and then click move account and as you can see over here on the right or on the over here on the left it has moved it over and the and then um, from here you can just do that let's just move a couple more over total test or missions flowers total test giving over and if you notice um, if you like after you set up an account or set up a subtotal and you realize oh I actually actually meant to 
meant for this subtotal to be within another subtotal, say it needs to go to total of other accounts. What you can do is click on the actual subtotal itself and move it just like you can move accounts to a subtotal, you can move subtotals to other subtotals. So I've clicked on total test giving and now I'm dragging it up to total other accounts and I let go. And then now, as you can see, total test giving is now within the subtotal total other accounts. And you can move subtotals the same way you can move accounts um, on the right here. So it says move total test giving to, and then it lists all the other subtotals besides the one it's either currently in or itself because you can't move it to itself. And then over here on the top right side um, is how you can um, rename a subtotal. Like if you, you know, I put in total test giving, but I didn't put test and giving, um, I didn't capitalize it. So what you can do is over here, highlight the text, and change it. And then when you click over here, and if you click on another line, you can now see it has updated the text. And then over, here, and then a, a couple options um, where it says display as header. Um, when you run your list account balances, um, if you would like the um, the name of the subtotal or a um, text that you choose to be um, to be placed over the accounts for the, that exists within that subtotal, you need that to be checked. And then the header text. Um, you need if you have display as header you need header text um, this is the name that actually appears above the subtotal items most of the time you know if your subtotal name is called total test giving most of the time we have the header text just be something like test giving yeah the the main uh, purpose for the subtotals are um, to set up your um, to organize and set up your accounts for if you run your list account balances report. Um, so you know, I'll show you that here in a second. But just showing you a couple of the different. So, so we have total giving accounts. That's the default subtotals, and then we have all these other ones. To show you what this looks like on your actual on an actual report, I'm going to close out of this for a second and click on reports export at the top of the screen list labels list account balances now what this report does is shows you all the donations that have been given to a particular account within a, um, a particular year or a particular month um, date range so if I just click print down here at the bottom right it will um, give me my list of all the accounts and how much money has been given to each one. Um, as you can see, um, you know the one we created called Total Test Giving down here, the, the different accounts we added to it all show up and it totals up how much has been given to that particular, um, to all those particular accounts or you know we have the building fund um, subtotal and that's totaled up there and then um, you know holiday giving if you want to see how much you have has been donated for each holiday Christmas, Lent, Easter, that sort of thing and then at the bottom it totals it up totals up absolutely everything now if a if an account isn't within a if you haven't created a subtotal or if you've created an account and haven't put in any, any subtotals, it'll be down here just kind of floating at the bottom. So this loose offering, I did not put into any particular subtotal, so it just shows up here right at the bottom before the grand total. So it goes out of that. And you know, one of the good things about subtotals is um, if you want, want to run this list of account balances, but you only want to see, for example, 
um, holiday giving you know throughout the year so you can go to this details tab here and then you can expand out the subtotals and you can uncheck all the other accounts and only look at total holiday giving so then if you click oops, if you click print with just total holiday giving checked the only accounts it show the only accounts it um, expands out is total holiday giving it still gives you the totals for all the other ones but it this is the one that will show you like the specifics for each of those particular accounts close out of that and close out of this and let's go back I'm gonna go back into subtotals so I'm gonna click on accounts and pledges and then subtotals and so if um, and then I'm expanding it out and clicking show accounts to look at all the different accounts now if you, you know, realize a particular subtotal has outlived its usefulness and you no longer need it you can delete subtotals um, to do that first you have to remove all the accounts that are in it and move it those to a different subtotal so what so if I want to delete total test giving I first have to take all the accounts that are within it move it elsewhere so I can take you know, general fund and just move it to, to other accounts do the same for missions and flowers, let's say that one's, you know, let's put that on the total giving accounts. Click move account, it moved it up there. Total cash giving, I can drag that up to total giving accounts. And now total test giving um, is now empty, and now the option down here, delete subtotal, is possible. I click that, and now it is. Um, gone. Yeah, it's a yeah, the subtotals feature in general isn't particularly well known. Um but if you need to regularly make run reports about, that show how much giving um has been or how many do how much in donations have you've received to particular accounts, it's um a good way to organize that report and allow you to get specifics of just particular um, particular accounts instead of doing one at a time or getting all the information um, yeah so that was you know a quick explanation of subtotals not particularly complicated but um, definitely something that's uh, important to use So that's really all I have. Um, we went actually quite a bit less than the 20 minutes I expected to go. Um, so we have a lot of time to answer questions that anybody might have. Do you guys have um, any questions? Not seen any questions coming in yet. Yeah, Susan asks, um, I, I see we're in donations. I assume um, this works the same in accounting. Yes, um, the subtotal screen um, is the same basic setup and it works the exact same in, um, in accounting as well. Um, Elizabeth, if you could give us um, 
a call on that. I'm not sure why it's um, why it's uh, behaving like that in accounting. If you could give us a call on that, um, or email us at support at churchwindows.com, that'd probably be the best way to um, have somebody deal with that. Because I'm not sure why it's behaving like that. All right, sounds good. Um, Elaine asked if you change something to donation screen, will it also change it, uh, the same in accounting, or you have to go into accounting as well? Um, it's the same type of screen, um, the subtotal screen, but they have different accounts. Um, so yeah, any so the, like these, the, the subtotals here don't exist in accounting. So uh, no, any changes you make here aren't reflected in accounting. Um, Kathy asked if there's a way to show total prior year compared to current year subtotals. Um, the best way to handle that is if you go into the reports export list labels list account balances. You can run um, two different reports. Um, one that will show the donations in 2016 here. You click print and it shows you the totals and everything or you can go to 2000 and then after that you can do 2015 and um, click print and it shows you the totals there so you can't get them you know both on one report but we can run two separate reports like that if you want to compare um, totals between subtotals between different years Yep, yep, no problem. All right, I yeah, I don't see any more um questions coming in. Um if you guys are in the middle of typing, um any questions, I hit enter first before I close out and then you can so I just so I know someone's asking a question then I'll hold off on closing and then you can finish up as I read the first part of the question okay Susan asked if you could use the compare and analyze to see the comparison um, between I'm guessing you mean between years you can um, if you do a given comparison or campaign comparison the um, The only um, issues with the giving comparison or the campaign comparison is um, at the moment those don't have um, a subtotal set up where you can um, only look at accounts in particular subtotal. It'll give you either a particular campaign or total giving by person. And Joy's asking, please review the section where you reviewed breaking out the holiday giving. Um, so yeah, if I go back into reports and export, then list labels, list account balances, on this detail tab here, um, we can tell the setup to only show um, particular subtotals. We can tell this report. So if we want to only look at the holiday giving, we can just check that one and then um, it'll show us the details of the holiday giving but not the details of the other subtotals um, so if, with just that checked and I click print um, it only gives me the the details of the holiday giving overall you know if, you can have a couple of them checked at a time so if I only want those three particular subtotals, I only get those three split out. So all the other accounts that exist in like an annual giving or the building fund aren't showing up. It still totals it there, um, but the only accounts that you get totals for, and then or you get 
the total is 4, and then it, it adds it up, and the subtotal um, are the ones I had checked to, to show the detail on. Okay, other than that, um, yeah, you are welcome, Joy. Um, all right, yeah, if you guys have any questions, just give us a call or email us at support um, at churchwindows.com. Um, I'll end our session here, and um, you all have a good day. Thanks. Bye.